welcome back to my video. So today, as I'm sure you're aware, if you follow me on Instagram, Ingi Mum Love, you'll know that I came onto cycle 14 and I'm currently day three today of my cycle. So not a great birthday present. I came on my period, but hey ho, cycle 14, as I said in my last post, is quite um, a good milestone. I know that one of the girls I follow, Mariah, she's had a successful BFP on cycle 14. So that gives me great hope. And as you know, my name's Ingrid. I've been trying, yes, 14 cycles to get pregnant, but we have had our ups and downs. So I've had a miscarriage. I've given up breastfeeding. I had low iron deficiency, which has now been substituted with a supplement. I've eased off the supplement, but I'm gonna continue um, to go back to taking that as I think it might help. Um, but yeah, I had quite a few issues and then I had that small melanoma removed off my leg in September time. So I only got the all clear from that in November. So I've had a lot of trials and tribulations. So I feel it's my time now. I feel quite upbeat and positive that it's gonna happen and it's gonna happen soon. I can't find myself to go into that dark place of I'm not gonna get pregnant and all of that because it'll just breed negativity and negativity is not good for your body anyhow. It breeds stress. Stress then gives you low progesterone, which you need to help support implantation, as we all know that. And I don't want to not fall pregnant, obviously, but I want my health to be absolutely at its optimum. So I think to increase my iron supplements, um, carry on taking my pregnant care, stay hydrated and be as less stressed as possible is gonna be the key for me. Um, it has been stressful, because obviously I've had all that going on which I've just mentioned, plus the everyday stress of just, you know, how your ups and downs, little things like parking issues and, you know, in our road it's very hard to get parked in the evening, that's the thing that stresses me out. Obviously I've got five children already, so that, you know, you have little bits where you've got to get school stuff ready and things. So my life's quite busy, so I think my key is to relax, have regular sex and also not put too much pressure on myself aim for cycle 14 if it doesn't happen go again now to all of you who are saying aren't you worried don't you think it's your age do you think you should get looked at blah 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 now listen I am obviously aware that it's taken longer than last time we tried I fell within three months before I had my miscarriage I was very fortunate and lucky and every time I've tried for a baby going on my first one it hasn't taken this long I must admit but I am thinking you know, I haven't had all what's been going on happen to me before. I've had like stresses of everyday living, like my phone constantly going off, parking issues, deadlines to meet, but I've never had the worry of a melanoma on my leg. I haven't had, um, you know, I haven't had the whole miscarriage thing happen only years and years ago, which I've already mentioned. So that has added extra worry to my trying for a baby. So with regards to am I gonna source any extra help, what I have said in my head and, and out loud is if things don't progress and it gets to August and I've still not fallen pregnant, I will get a private consultation with the hospital that I use for my melanoma I've already asked them, I emailed them what's the waiting time for a consultation regarding fertility appointments. They said you can have a consultation within a week with the relevant um, doctor, which is great. And it's not a very high cost for the consultation. I can then tell him all about my OPKs, all my background history, what's happened. And then he can decide whether I need an ovarian scan to see what my egg supply is like. That would be where I'd go first. So if things haven't progressed by August, I will book that consultation just to get a scan for my ovaries and my eggs and then obviously for Aaron's sperm count. But at the moment, I've just said to Aaron if he can just watch what he's eating, stay on a scale to maybe reduce his weight or maybe stay steady with his weight and carry on taking his prenatal vitamins, that's great for me. I don't wanna stress him out. He doesn't drink a lot of alcohol. He doesn't have late nights. He doesn't smoke. He's produced lovely children in the past. He's um, 36 years old and I know that he's quite happy to do what I wanna do. And he did say he will book a doctor's appointment 
now if I want and I've just said I don't want that to happen I just want to naturally relax and try and if things don't progress by August then I will do that so I have got the wheels in motion for that and obviously if they scan my ovaries and said my eggs are really not there or there's something deficient then we can address that issue and go forth so yes I have thought about that but I'm not going to put too much great effort and detail into harboring that sort of inquiry until it's necessary at the moment i just want my body to do what it's doing it's healing obviously from I, the miscarriage is well and truly out of my body i know the breastfeeding hormones well and truly out of my body because that's been a year and a few months now the miscarriage was 11 months ago so that's out my body now and the melanoma was all taken out my body in september but the operation was very raw because I had to have a second one in October. That is still a bit tender to touch, but I've had the all clear from that. So since December, I've had an all clear of everything and I feel I'm upbeat and ready to embrace a pregnancy. So with that all said and done, I'm on cycle day three and I'm doing a lot of reflexology now. I'm on my way back from Jan's. If you go back to my other vlogs, you'll see that there was a little one that I put in about reflexology. It was, um, I think I was 10 DPO going for reflexology or something like that. If you go back in my vlogs you'll see Jan and meet her and she gives you a little bit of advice on what I have done but today because I'm in my period time she's been able to really go over my uterus my fallopian tubes everything that means anything for conception she's really worked on them today and I'm going to start having two reflexology appointments a week now I'm hoping I've got enough space on this to do a video if it stops halfway through I'll have to add on at the end but it's just to give you an update to say I am well, I am in a good place. Sorry I've been a bit slack on the vlogging, I just wanted to relax myself. I did do OPKing as you know um, last time and just this cycle just gone. And I got my positive on day 11 and we did day 10, day 11, day 12, all through the ov ovary pain and um, all through my, mid you know, my pain that I was having, my ovulation pain and it hasn't worked. I don't know what that was. I know that we did have to just find really quick time to do the deed because we were busy. It could have been that or it just possibly wasn't my time. I don't know. So onwards and upwards, we're going to try again. Reflexology I'm having twice a week, which I know will help me. It's helped me in the past. I did relax from reflexology on cycle 11 and 12 because we had Christmas. It was manic and I'd had my operation. So like Jan said, Ingrid, you didn't have it much through September, October because of your operation. You came back in November but then you stopped coming in December because you were busy with Christmas you've got to have it regular to benefit from it they say three reflexology sessions in a month will do you the world of good but if you just have a one-off one you'll know what it's all about and you'll feel great and rejuvenated but you need at least three one after the other to benefit from it you really do in my past experience and in Jan's words and she's been doing reflexology for 20 years so yeah I'm back on with that so I'm all good for diet all good for reflexology Flexology and all well and good to re you know to embrace the pregnancy and get on with my fertile time so next week I'll be fertile it'll be the end of the week but I'm gonna go with my body this time I'm gonna do cheap OPKing not the digitals I'm not stressing myself out so I will update you I'll do a live a um, little picture on Instagram of my OPKs when I get a positive and I will give you a vlog in my two-week wait and if I feel like I'm up to it it's half term it's quite busy I may do a vlog um, end of the week or next week but I love you all please subscribe please give me your baby dust and support and the same back to you I absolutely love hearing your stories and about your BFPs it gives me great positivity and happiness so love to all and yeah here's to cycle 14 for me see you later guys bye <laughs>